hi welcome back to our figma design and in this design here you can see we have only designed the home page and the home page looks like this so this is the design for an interactive ui ux designer but uh, if you are a web developer wordpress expert or content writer or any kind of person that you would like to provide service on so uh, freelance marketplace or want to showcase your work then you can use this design to create your own portfolio and you can also uh, change certain things like text uh, layouts as per your requirements as well now we have uh, this home page design only as of now if you take a look at the figma site you can see this is the home page only here so instead creating home page uh, for learning purpose we will gonna create our archive page our single archive tags archive and explain the archive page i have seen many of the person or uh, people i have worked with they do not have a depth idea or information how the archive works now let's take a look at quick overview of the design what is the most important part here so here in these sections you will gonna understand how the uh, cover block works with uh, other features like group blocks and how the grid filter uh, the grid features work inside the uh, gutenberg block you can understand when we complete this part and this part also the most important part in this whole series tutorial which i haven't shown any of my videos so for this part i'll be creating a custom post type called projects and uh, inside a custom post type we're gonna import these four projects and displaying here and each post type has its own custom page as well even though there will be a custom archive page for projects as well so it will be a dynamic sections where we are gonna learn how the custom post types works how the dynamic content works and hopefully you're gonna learn some basic things about custom post type and the dynamic content with the free versions uh, using the gutenberg block previously with other page builders it requires a premium versions and like elementor like uh, other plugins or other page builders they require also third-party plugins as well and now it looks uh, very easy and you can do almost uh, uh, without using any plugins we'll try to use only the default one now here you can see this second uh not the second one so this is another sections and here we're going to use a video here uh, it will be self hosted or it, it could be a youtube videos as or any kind of video like uh, vimeo as well now let's uh, scroll down and here you can see there is a uh, toggle or question answer sections where we'll be using the um, toggle features from the default block and the design is uh, created uh, to match the with the toggle features as well and i i think uh, the design is a little bit shifted here so that that's not a not, not an issue here now the uh, most important part the query loop builder the query loop builder is one of the most uh, important part uh, inside wordpress besides other uh, necessary blocks you have to understand how the query loop builder works so uh, using query loop builder you can do a lot of things but i see when it's time or when uh, the uh, user sees a little bit complex uh, things then uh, they messed up with the query loop builder and uh, even though they are not sure how to make uh, any kind of design using query loop builder and yes you can make literally this design easily without any custom code even though the query loop builder we are using here as well now let's uh, go back to the footer part so this is our footer part of the cta and uh, it looks pretty simple i hope you're gonna enjoy and learn a lot of things from this series tutorial so let's move into the next part